All right, a 16-year-old Hispanic male presents to the general pediatric service with extreme fatigue for three weeks and new onset nosebleeds. His CBC shows the following, 6.9 hemoglobin, white cell is only 1.4 with an ANC of 300, platelets are 14,000, the reticulocyte percentage is a half percent and the absolute reticulocyte count we calculated and it's 18,000. A hematologist oncologist is consulted and performs a bone marrow biopsy which reveals the following. All right, so let you look at that for a second. So what is the best explanation for these findings? A, transient erythroblastopenia of childhood. B, diamond black fan anemia. C, severe aplastic anemia. D, autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Or E, acute lymphoid leukemia. Okay, great. All right, severe aplastic anemia. Yes, that photomicrograph, that bone marrow uh, showed a wiped out uh, bone marrow. If you think of it in this age child, there should be about 80% to 90% cellularity. What did you see? A very small number of cells, maybe 20%, maybe less. So that's not consistent with transient erythroblastopenia of childhood. Um, it could be with diamond black fan, but that's inherited and so would present earlier. Autoimmune hemolytic anemia is a destructive process, would not wipe out your bone marrow. And ALL can present with exactly that same CBC. They're in the differential together when you have a pancytopenic patient, right? But you do the bone marrow and it's the difference between something that is covered in sheets. And we're going to talk about this in the oncology uh, section, but sheets and sheets of small red round blue cells, right? And that's characteristic of ALL versus an empty marrow. That's severe aplastic anemia. Okay. Yes. When the factory goes on strike. So here it is. Your, your bone marrow uh, is no longer producing the formed elements in the peripheral, uh, peripheral blood. There are a variety of different kinds of bone marrow failure. So starting with pure red cell aplasias like diamond black fan anemia or congenital hypoplastic anemia. And we always contrast that in, in almost every pediatric textbook. There's a little table that'll put um, DBA and TEC side by side and co compare and contrast those. So transient erythroblastopenia of childhood, it absolutely occurs. Um, that's the anemic child in your office who otherwise looks well, and we'll get to it in just a minute, but we haven't been able to discover the, uh, the cause of TEC even after a lot of study. Now, then pancytopenia or aplastic anemia affecting all cell lineages, there are the acquired conditions and the inherited conditions. So the inherited bone marrow failure syndromes, I'm going to touch on those in a minute, and then acquired aplastic anemia or idiopathic aplastic anemia. 